Thank Emma you. Moreno from Italy was featured in the New York Times for being the oldest person in Europe at 115 years old. No. Wow. Wow. Is she not the oldest person in the world? Yeah. Uh, Wait. Oldest, well, in Europe. 115? Because she has avoided men. Well. <gasps> Really? She said she was married back in 1938, uh -huh. and after that, she was done. She was like, I'm done. I'm well, done with men. Wow. And she says that, you know, because she hasn't had men in her life, she has lived this ripe old age, and she's still going strong. Huh. So, do y'all think that um, we should listen to our elders and avoid men to live longer? Well, here's the thing. If you actually look at all the magazine articles that come out every month, it's always Endless tips on how to deal with men. And that's uh -huh. stressful, huh? Yeah. Oh, girl, yeah. I got, I got and, a few grades skills. up in here because mm -hmm. of men. The only sleepless nights I've ever had are the ones that I've had because I was fighting with Freddie. Lies. Really? <laughs> I'm probably, a, I'm only going to live to be about maybe 83 because I'm not going to give up bumping and grinding with no Maybe. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? 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 I'm telling you, I think the article, I... the article when I read it, it was more so that, like, she probably has had interaction. She just didn't get in a serious relationship, relationship. with a man or again. Or get married again. Or get married again because men can be headaches. Yeah. Well, I and the truth, yeah. the truth of yeah. the matter is, it doesn't matter how happy you are in a marriage or in a relationship, it's stressful. Yes. It is. And yeah. stress. Yeah. 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 So, and I believe her philosophy. Mm -hmm. I believe her philosophy of, you know, I just don't want to get into a serious relationship. I just don't want to give up. Me you want to have fun. Date. Yeah. So if this is her philosophy, and my philosophy is like her philosophy, now that I think about it, I might live to 215. <laughs> yeah, I'm you want to come to the I think, I think <laughs> she might have a point. Let me tell you the little quick story real quick, right? Okay. So I have a friend of a friend who has a friend, right? Okay. Uh -oh. and, uh -oh. friend yeah, because I don't want them to catch on. Cut so up. what happened? What happened was um, her husband, she caught her husband cheating on her, right? Okay. So she was stressed. He done moved in with the girl, got all juicy and stuff like that. Yes. Moved in with her, going back and forth and back and forth, right? Come to find out he wanted to come home. Guess what happened? She had a stroke. Ain't nobody got time for that. I ain't getting no stroke over no man. Yes. No, I'm and that thing to kill guys. you. That yes. thing to stress you out. Yeah. You worrying about your man dealing with Suzanne? I ain't got prop. I, ain't, I do not have time for that. <laughs> and bump Suzanne, what about if your man dealing with Joe? I really don't have time for that. <laughs> Oh, I'm just what? saying, that kind of stuff was, that's kind of stress. Yes, I'm going to ruin your whole life. Okay, the wrinkles and everything. Say, though, mm -mm. Along with the stress of, of having a husband and having a family, is the blessing of, of having, you know, children, yes. grandchildren. Uh -huh. I want to be surrounded by my, by my grandkids yes. and, and my kids when I'm that old. And well, who are that? That's even more people to stress you out. I know, no, but yeah. still, I'd but, rather it's worth it. It's worth yes, the stress. Yes, and besides the kids, we are married <laughs> soon to be as well. Yes. Let's also add, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, let's let's She's girl. already stressed. I know. Let's not <laughs> worry, Adrian here, new fiance. But let's also remember that our men also own the moments of making us feel most childlike and in love at many times that they did good. Yeah, if you have a good one. But yes. if you have a good one, he will bring you some of the most youthful feeling times in your life. Yeah, but that, even if you have a good one, because I feel like I have a good one. Me I feel too. Like a great one. Yes. It, I, it's still you have a great one. Yeah, yeah, and I don't care what nobody say. Yeah. I think she might be on or something. Well, 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 see, we don't know. I think she said serious relationships, but like we said, we don't know. Yeah. She's probably still, she probably had children. Mm -hmm. She had people around her. It's not like she's just lonely and desperate. Right. I think that's the thing. We yeah. think she said, avoid men. She's lonely and desperate. Evidently, she's not lonely and desperate. Yeah. Or I don't think, because I think that could stress you out and you could yeah. die yeah. sooner too lonely. when you're yeah, lonely. That is true. Know? And people have died of, of a broken heart. Hard. But no, also, they really have they it. Have, true. But listen, let's flip it a little bit though, right? Okay. What if it's what if he's really nice and it's real good to you? Okay. Sometimes that can give you a heart attack too, so I feel on both sides of the <laughs> you, know, you, <laughs> you guys ever seen the movie Eat, Pray, Love? Have you guys yes. ever seen the movie? Yes. Okay. I read the, book. the opening scene is Julia Roberts saying that she had a good friend that was like a psychologist or something and was going to Cambodia to help these people that were refugees. Mm -hmm. Their families had like been torn apart. They had watched some of their parents die in front of them, be killed. Horrible things had happened to them. And so her psychologist went there to help them because she's like, these people are going through it. Right. Mm -hmm. And do you know what the women wanted to talk to her about. I was in a concentration camp. I met a boy there. He married my cousin, but what? I was in love with him. They wanted to talk about love, love. Yeah. after everything they had <laughs> been through. And I think that there's something to say about that in the sense that like, even if I don't live that long, I'd rather have a few years of something special yeah. yes. than 115 of nothing. To be yeah. loved and to love. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. Okay. It's worth it. Yeah. it drives me crazy.